All right, so in this video, I got this champion generator. It is less than a year old. It's a dual fuel model, and it's pretty big. I think it's like 15 horsepower or something. And uh, the customer's complaint was that the engine was making a ticking noise, had no compression, and was getting stuck on the exhaust stroke. So I diagnosed it as a bad head, which would be a bad valve guide on the exhaust side. So I ordered a new cylinder head, and that's what this video was originally going to be, replacing the cylinder head. And it turned into a total engine replacement, which we will get into later in the video. So we're going to disassemble this thing, and this is a dual fuel generator like I mentioned. I think it's like 10,000 watts or something. It's pretty big. And uh, one question I'm probably going to get asked is why did I not remove the gas tank? Well, it wasn't necessary to remove the cylinder head. It gives you plenty of room to do it all by hand. I couldn't use an impact when I could. I did. So we're going to basically disconnect everything. You got to take the carburetor off, obviously and uh, all the emission hoses, fuel hoses, and even the front uh, fan shroud, baffle, whatever you want to call it, recoil housing, I forget the technical term, I just call it the uh, engine cover, cowling, or whatever it is. And this is what took the longest, getting the muffler off. It took me probably 30 minutes just to get the muffler off because you had to unbolt it from the cylinder head before you could unbolt it from the frame. And uh, you had to take everything off. Everything. And that one back bolt was the most aggravating. And I believe it's 14 millimeter. Um, everything on this is metric. Now, Champion products, they're pretty reliable. I've worked on quite a few. Never had too many issues with them. This was the first one that I've had that the engine failed on. And uh, they are a Chinese engine. Um, they're actually a very good engine. So we're going to pull the muffler, and then we can further disassemble to get to the cylinder head. So all of this had to be done by hand because you couldn't get a uh, impact in there. Now, I have a quarter inch battery ratchet, but it's kind of on the weak side, so I just figured I'd do everything by hand. So that's where I was able to use an impact on the outside to take off all of those. There was one eight millimeter up in there. And then on the back is where it was mounted to the block. And this is why I had to loosen it on the um, cylinder head so it would just basically fall off. So I'm going to take this air vein off. And now we can proceed to disassemble the remaining parts of the head, which would be the carburetor studs. To remove studs, you just basically double nut and uh, jam the two nuts together to form a jam nut. And then you just back it out with a wrench pretty easy. Getting the uh, jam nuts off is quite challenging, but a pair of vice grips and an impact is really all you need. So now we're going to take the valves loose. Now a 9mm was used to remove the adjusting uh, tension nuts or whatever you want to call them. The two nuts on top where the uh, valves are. Now if you look closely you'll notice the intake valve looks totally different from the exhaust valve. Just note how the springs look. You'll see just a little bit on what happened. The exhaust valve ended up being stuck and bent due to a bad valve guide. And well, it's very rare that this happens to an engine, but when we get the cylinder head off, you can see what the damage is. I mean, yes, it could be rebuilt, but I just got a new motor. It was easier than just rebuilding it. And plus, the customer was kind of in a hurry to get this back, which it was a construction worker generator type thing. So new engine was quicker than a rebuild. And I tried everything to get those loose and they would not come loose. So I had to pull these pins to get the valve out. And as you see, it was under a lot of tension. And I had to use like two or three different pair of pliers to get it loose. And when I finally got it loose, this is what happened. As you will see momentarily the whole entire valve assembly just like exploded it just like up and shot out of there hit the camera and everything so now we're going to take the cylinder head off 14 millimeters four of them dig the bolts out with a pair of pliers and pop off the cylinder head 
and this is where we discovered it had a cracked piston if you look very closely you will see it had a cracked piston it's very rare that I see this so yeah new engine it is I thank you all for watching if you have any questions down below leave them in the comments and I will see you all on the next video hope you all learned something as always see you in the next one bye for now